What's up America? This is old Jim Bob coming to you from Jim Bob's commentary channel somewhere in a secret location in America. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you today about my presidential uh, run and uh, what I'm going to do after you elect me uh, on uh, prison control and uh, stuff like that. Uh, got too many people in uh, prison in America. America's got more people in prison than Russia or any other country. And, uh, and it ain't doing us no good. Uh, I have to keep building them prisons and uh, when you do that you take away from the schools and the kids ain't got as much stuff in their schools because we're building prisons and putting prisoners up there in the jail. And uh, they ain't got no, no problem with putting the man in jail when he breaks the law. Uh, that ain't that ain't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is how we treat them once they're up there and how we treat them when they get back out and then they turn right back around and get back in there again. So that's what we're going to work on. Prison reform. That's what we're going to work on. Prison reform. So, one of the things I'm going to do when you make me president is uh, I'm going to get up there and we're going to do prison reform. And one of the things we're going to do is going to be drastic. It ain't never been done before. And uh, I'm going to be the first one to do it. And uh, you're going to like it. Whether you like it or not, you're going to like it. So this is what we're going to do. When a man gets up there in the prison, or a woman gets put up in there in the prison, do their time, uh, they're going to have to participate in uh, rehabilitation. And if they don't participate in it, they get uh, uh, a day hooked on to their sentence and if they do participate, they get a half a day taken off of their sentence. So uh, what we're going to do, part of the problem is that you've got them gangs in there, and the rival gangs, and they're fighting and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to shackle them all up in uh, two different gangs, and we're going to bring them in a room, and we'll sit them down and shackle them in a chair, and they're going to be facing each other. And we're going to make them work stuff out and uh, talk to each other and uh, get stuff situated so that during the gang violence will slow down a little bit in the prison and uh, maybe it's some on the outside. That's one thing we're going to do. The other thing is, when a man goes into prison, or a woman goes into prison, and they, they go in there and they got their head on straight, and they made a mistake and they want to try to do right, this is the important part right here. If we're going we're gonna to help them uh, whenever they get out, we, they ain't going to have no record no more. We're going to wipe the record clean. The police can keep the records. They ain't, just ain't going to be public. And so when a person goes to apply for a job, they'll be able to apply for a job and get one and uh, instead of having to keep on doing the crime and stuff like that. And if they go in there on account of they've been in the drugs and stuff like that and they're addicted to drugs, we're going to help them get off of the drugs with some psychological and medical help. We ain't going to just throw them in a box in there and hope that they get better. We're going to try to figure out what caused them to get there and get them off. And we do all these things. When these people come up back on out of the prison, they'll be able to get a job and they won't have to go back into crime no more. Now some of them are going to do it, I know that. But most of them ain't going to do it. Most people will learn their lesson and they'll go on and get better. And uh, ain't no sense in punishing a man or a woman for doing something all their life, and then you punish them for the rest of their life for doing it. That's just stupid, and it'll make no sense. You wouldn't want it done to you if you would got in trouble and uh, got on up, locked up in the jail, and then you, you you did right and did everything straight, and you got back out, and then you couldn't get a job and all that kind of stuff. That ain't right. So we're gonna change that stuff, and we're gonna become. We're going to have less people in prison. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why. Back in the 1970s is when we started getting tougher on crime. And we had like 200,000 men in prison about that time. And in less than 20 years, we got over almost 2 million people in prison in less than 20 years. And uh, building prisons as fast as we can build them, and we still ain't got room enough to put them all in there. Now you tell me if it's working getting tougher on crime. Uh, it ain't working. And it's just making people worse and meaner and like that. And uh, yeah, there's some mean people out there. I mean, them people, we can lock them up and leave them in there. But the people that try to do right when they get in there, we're going to help them get out 
and get a job and they can build a, a Jim Bob's Highway or something other like that. And the ones that's already got the record and it's too late, we're going to try to help them start running up their own business, start up their own business. I knew a fella some 20 years ago, and this is a true story, that he, he, I worked in the cable television, and uh, he, re he repaired uh, parts, and so modules is what we call them, and he repaired them parts, and, he's, uh, and uh, what he did is he would go into a prison and he would train some fellas in there, mostly men, and uh, he would train them on how to fix these, these modules, and then whenever they got done with their time, he'd give them a job. He ain't never had no problem with none of them, and uh, they did good work and all that kind of stuff. Well, see, you don't get that no nowadays. People won't do stuff like that, and that's what we're trying to do. If they don't have a record, then they won't have that problem. If they do have a record, we need to help them start up a business like that where they can uh, be a you know, good part of society and helping society instead of hurting society. And the same thing with drugs. It don't do no good to lock a man up for using drugs. You need to help him. What good does it do to put him in jail? All he's going to do is when he gets back out, he's going to start stealing some more. You need to get him off the of drugs. That's what we need to do. So, there you go. That's what Jim Bob's uh, uh, prison reform is going to be. I know it's controversial. And I know a lot of you think I'm crazy about doing it, but by doing it, we're going to cut down crime in America even way more than it is now. And it's going to get better. There's going to be less people in prison. We're going to take them prisons, and we're going to refit them there and uh, give homeless people somewhere to live or build schools or something like that. So that's what we're going to do. Jim Bob's out.